hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a great day and you're doing amazingly well so today we're going to be making um spicy baked salmon with some cauliflower mash so i'm gonna start off by um seasoning my salmon and then i'll keep it in the fridge for about a couple of hours before um, I grill it in the oven and then later on we'll start with the cauliflower mash. So I have in my bowl um, two pieces of um, salmon. We're just going to season it right now. Some fish powder, paprika, black pepper, A little bit of salt, some hot sauce, it's a bit spicy so just use whichever amount you want, some um, oyster sauce, just a small amount, just a small amount of oyster sauce, and then I'm going to mix it. So we're just going to make sure we mix it properly. All the spices will get in there. Oh, I almost forgot my um, grated um, garlic and ginger. That also goes in there, so. That's it. And then just mix, mix, mix. Make sure. It just mix. Goes in very well. And the last thing I'm going to put on is um, some pieces of um, lemon. So I put the lemon on there like that. And when it's ready to bake, I'll bake everything together with the lemon. So I'm just going to cover it with some clear wrap. Clear wrap. And then I will keep it in the fridge for a couple of hours till we're ready to grill it. We are back. So the salmon has been in the fridge for a couple of hours. Right now, I'm just going to bake it in the oven and then um, while um, the salmon is in the oven we'll start by prepping the cauliflower okay so i have on um, a baking sheet i've already um, greased it with a little bit of oil to prevent my salmon from sticking so and then i'm going to put on top on um, the slices of um, lemon and then it's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes tops. So I'll just get ready and then I'll prep the um, cauliflower. Okay, so I have here um, our cauliflower head. So it's already washed. I'm just going to cut it into two. And probably I'll use just half because um, it's only two people who are going to eat it. So, cut the core of the cauliflower and then just break it apart. Like, I can just cut it into smaller pieces because, um, after this, I'm gonna put it in a bowl, sprinkle a little bit of water, and then it's gonna go in the microwave. I want to steam it to get it a bit soft before I'll be able to um, puree into the cauliflower mash. So just break it. Okay, so this is how you want it to be. And then I'm just going to sprinkle um, just a bit of water on it. Sprinkle water. And then add a bit of, um, I'm going to add a bit of salt. Cover it with a clear wrap. I'm going to cover it with a clear wrap. And then um, it's going to go in the microwave till I get it 
a bit soft, which will be easy to blend. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the broccolis, um, I steamed them in the microwave for about 10 to 12 minutes to get it um, a bit um, soft. So that will be easy for blending. So it's a bit soft. So I'm just going to grab my Ninja Bullet and then I'll put everything in. Everything will go in there. And then um, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of um, powdered pepper, not too much, just a small amount. Just a small amount about a tablespoon of um, unsalted butter. Unsalted butter and then um, about another um, tablespoon of um, cream. Or you can just add a little bit more, just a tiny bit more to it. And then just blend it. So. Mash is ready, and then um, I'm just going to I'm just going to scoop it. See how creamy the mash is looking already. It's very creamy. Okay, and the salmon is also almost ready in the oven. So I'll be back with a complete meal. Hi, so our spicy grilled salmon is ready. As you can see, it's looking very delicious. And then um, the cauliflower mashed is also beautifully made. And then I steamed some broccoli and carrots. That's gonna go very well with it. I hope you give it a try at home. I'm sure you're going to love it. You will not really miss like eating um, mashed potatoes if you're on a strict diet or if you're trying to count calories or eating a low carb meal. This is very healthy and very delicious as well. Thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like it, comment, feel free to share my videos and also don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be able to get updates once I upload new videos. Thank you and have a great day.